Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have another video here for those that have the We Are Memory Keepers mini envelope punch board. I've got here a couple more little ideas for you that you could use with the punch board other than making cute little mini envelopes. I did a, a video um, not too long ago and I showed you guys how you could make some cute little mini bows and some little banner strips with the uh, punch board. I will put the video for you down below if you wanted to head over and have a look at the video and to see the measurements on how you can make your bows. Uh, so the bows were this one here. It's really easy to make and really cute and great for your projects. And then I also just wanted to uh, also mention in that video I showed you guys how to make these cute little embellishment paper layered um, fish tail banner strips. I made a, me a mistake on the measurements on um, on which um, on how the how to uh, the, to cut the strips. Um, so I want to thank Susie for pointing that out for me. I mentioned in the video I said to cut the strip. Um, for the fishtail banners at a quarter of an inch wide but it's actually half an inch uh, strips so I just wanted to point that out so I do apologize and thank you again Susie um, okay so these were the two little projects that I showed you how with this uh, punch board but in this video I want to show you how you can make a cute little um, flat oh, sorry the uh, page tabs that you could use to place on your junk journals or um, uh, you know on your flip books and these are the tabs that um, you could make and I'll just show you and you can um, make these in two different shapes and I'll show you the two different uh, ways you can make them and these are um, just some of the ones that I put together and you can make them any width uh, any length that you like and also uh, any height that you want but I'm going to show you the measurements that I've used for my projects these are just so great you can have these and use your scraps you know you don't need to cut um, your uh, brand new papers just use your, your scraps to make these and I'll show you some of the project ideas that you could use um, with these little page tabs when you um, punch them out with the punch board so um, you can make them into little uh, mini file folded um, style so I've got the page tab up here and you just um, have it like that for um, you can use it as a note card and this is um, using a 6 by 6 paper I've just cut the paper at um, 6 inches by 4 inches and then I place the page tab just here along the side and you can place them anywhere you like and you can have it that way as well so that's one way you could use your uh, page tabs uh, you could also make tags out of them again just using your scrap papers to um, make your tags I've just cut a piece of paper this is I think three by four inches and I placed the tab shape up here and decorated the uh, paper so that's another cute way to use them then you could also um, use them as bag toppers I've got mine here as a bag topper these are the bows again just to show you in the packaging and again you can make them at any length to um, the size of your packaging to make them and it's, all you do is you just um, see if I've got one here so this one here is the um, longer size and these ones here are the uh, shorter length you can see the difference and all you do is just apply some double sided tape to the um, underneath it and then just placing it onto your packaging like that and then just keeping your opening at the bottom so then they can just take it out of the bottom here and you've still got the decorative top, uh, bag topper on the top and that's all you do and then you can embellish and decorate your uh, bag topper so that's another way you could do that and then you could also make uh, little flip books I've got here um, I just cut these papers um, again at three by four inches and I corner rounded the corners uh, using the we are memory keepers uh, corner rounder punch it has uh, three different sizes that you could use and I use the larger um, corner size to do the corners and these are the page tabs here along the side and I used it as the hinge to keep the pages together 
and you can then make a little mini album and you can add your photos on here you could even have it facing this way if you like and having it flipping up this way so that's another another way you can make your tabs to make a mini album I've done one here um, on another video a much earlier in one of my videos and I'll put this video for you too if you want to see how to put this together it's quite similar just a different um, page tab shape that I used here and I made this out of a circle shape and this is the tabs that's on the inside so if you want to know how to put this together using these tabs I'll put the link to this video tutorial for you and these are cute it's got a little pocket here and I've got pockets in here so this is another fun happy mail idea for you so that's another way you could do it so I'm going to show you now how to make the tabs and again just grab some scrap papers you can make them any size you like I'm going to um, use these little pieces of paper up to make this size I just to make this size here I just cut my paper at uh, one and three quarters by one and a half inches and we're going to fold the paper on the one and three quarter inch side and we're just going to fold that in half Alright, so we're going to firstly make this shape here. We're making this one here, which is the same as the, the shape here that I've got on this tag. So to do that, once you fold your paper, again you can use your uh, any measurements you like. All you want to do is you just want to simply fold it in half. And then on the edge here, and on um, you got to slide the folded piece of the paper underneath your... Um, envelope punch board and you're going to line the edge of your paper to the um, inside of that notch just there I just use it in case you can't see it just on that little piece there so you're going to line it on the edge there and we're going to then punch your paper down and then you'll have that sort of a shape and then we're just going to do the same to the outside, just turning that over. Again, lining the edge of your paper uh, underneath onto the edge. And punch. And there you have your little page tab ready for you to use on your projects. How easy was that? That was um, easy to do. So now to do the other one, which is, um, I think... Oh, it's this one here. I'll just open this up. So we're going to do it this way. So it is slightly different if you can see. This one has like a little uh, sort of a curve on the edge. This one sort of just sort of curves up. So we're going to do this one. To do that one, you're going to grab another piece of paper. Again, just use your scraps. And I'm going to fold my paper over in half. So now what we're going to do here, you're going to open up your paper. I'm going to do it um, this way so you can see. So this part here where you've got the crease and you fold that in half, we're going to slide that in and we want to line this point to this point. You see, you can see that the score line has a point right there. We're going to line that score line to that point and that will be the to guide you in the middle. So I'm just going to slide that under like that as close to the center as you can and you're going to punch it down and then you'll have this uh, look we're going to turn that over and do the same and just lining that again to the middle just to make sure my paper is nice and straight and punch that down and folding that back over and then you'll have this sort of shape so you can see the two difference in the shape so that's the two ways you can make your little page, a uh, page, a tab dies using the uh, mini punch board. And this is just um, a three by four journaling card. And then you can just uh, apply your glue to the inside, and then you can place it onto your uh, card, and then you can make yourself a little tag like this if you wanted to. Um, so that's just another way you could um, 
use this punch board by making some fun little page tabs and then you can just have it however high you like your tab to be you can have it up there or down here or there so um, I do hope you enjoyed this really fun quick tutorial on how you can make these fun page tabs and I'll put all the links to the video for the uh, mini flip book for you and also uh, the paper bows and the how to make these as well for you so I do hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all soon in my next one bye